ठीक है गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स जय जगन्नाथ विल स्टार्ट टूडे अबाउट दी एक्सपोनेंट्स एंड पावर्स वेल सपोज यू आर राइटिंग टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू टू देन दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू टू दी पावर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव तो टू टू दी पावर फाइव सो हियर This two is known as base. This is called base, and this is the exponent. This is exponent. Similarly, suppose it is written three into three into three into three into three into three into three. So this can be written as थ्री रेस्ट टू दि पावर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवेन थ्री टू दि पावर सेवेन सो हियर थ्री इज नोन एज योर बेस एंड सेवेन इज कॉल्ड योर एक्सपोनेंट ओके सो देर आर सम लॉज ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट सो वील वेरीफाई दिस लॉज ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट सपोज दि फर्स्ट लॉ फर्स्ट लॉ इज a to the power n into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. Suppose I am taking one example. Suppose five to the power this example five to the power six into five to the power three. So you see the base is seven. The base is five here. So we we'll use this formula. When base is same, then the powers are added. The so six plus three, that is five to the power nine. Okay, so this is the first law of the indices that when the base are same, then the base will be same, but the power will be added. So this is five to the power nine. Similarly, the second formula. That is a to the power m divided by a to the power m. Then this is equal to a to the power m minus n. For example, we we'll say ten to the power seven divided by ten to the power three. So here the base is seven. So this these are divided. So where it is divided, it is subtracted. So seven minus three, that is ten to the power four. So this is the second law of indices. The third law is suppose a to the power m, four to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n. Suppose you are taking one example. Example. Ten to the power six. So we ten to the power six. Four to the power five. Now the base is seven, so the powers are multiplied. So six into five. That is ten to the power thirty. Okay. This is the second law. Then the next is your fourth law is. A to the power n into b to the power n. In this case, you see that is the base are different. The base are different, but the power are same. So a to the power n into b to the power n is equal to a b whole to the power n. So you take one example here, like that. Suppose five to the power three. Into four to the power three. So here the base are different, but the power are same. So then this will be five into four, four to the power three. That is twenty to the power three. Okay. Suppose you want to find out this value. So twenty will be multiplied three times for evaluations of the value. So when These are multiplied. First, 
you see there are 0, 0, 0. But you multiply the number 2 into 2, 4 into 2, 8. Then 3, 3, 0. So 3, 0 is 0. Okay. So that is 20 to the power 3. That is 8,000. So next formula is next law number 5. That is a to the power m by b to the power m. You see here the base are different but the power are same but they are different. So this should be a by b whole to the power m. Okay. So these are very interesting and you take one example of that. Suppose 5 to the power 3 by 4 to the power 3. Here you see the base are different but the power are same. So this can be written as 5 by 4 4 to the power 3. Next part, suppose if it is asked to evaluate, evaluation, so evaluate the value, then for evaluation, 5 by 4 to the power 3, so you can write this number 3 times, 5 by 4, 5 by 4 into 5 by 4. So when for evaluation, you multiply the numerator, 5 into 5, 25 into 5, 100, 25. But 4, 4, 16 into 4, 64. So the value is 125 by 64. This is the law. But if the question will come that evaluate the value of these things, then you have to multiply 3 times. 5 are multiplied 3 times because the power is 3. So you are multiplying 3 times. Here the power was also 3, so you are multiplying 3 times. Then next law is that is a to the power 0 is equal to 1. This is one analysis law. Suppose for example 100 to the power 0 then automatically 100 to the power 0 is 1. Similarly suppose 500 to the power 0 also the value is 1. So one interesting question is that something suppose 2 to the power 0 for example the second example plus 3 to the power 0 plus 4 to the power 0 then what is the value? sometimes these questions are coming so 2 to the power 0 is 1 because you are using this law then 3 to the power 0 is 1 4 to the power 0 is 1 so the value is but sometimes the question is coming like this manner 2 to the power 0 into 3 to the power 0 into 4 to the power 0 so what the answer will come? So 2 to the 0 is 1, then 3 to the 0 is 1, 4 to the 0 is 1. So the result is 1. So these are about your laws of indices and how to solve this question. So there are different laws that is 8 to the power n into 8 to the power n is 8 to the power n plus n. Similarly, 8 to the power n divided by 8 to the power n is equal to 8 to the power m minus n and 8 to the power m whole to the power m that is 8 to the power m n next 8 to the power m into b to the power m is a b whole to the power m then a by m by b 8 to the power m by b to the power m that is a by b whole to the power m and this is the value 8 to the power 0 is 1 so these are about the laws of indices in next class we will solve the exercise problems thank you